Welcome back. My name is Patrick Nolan. I'm an attorney licensed in the state of Missouri. This is Pat Talks Law, windshield time. I am driving once again, it seems to be a pattern, huh? Across the state, I've got a hearing in a juvenile case and adjudication, but that's not what we're wanting to talk about today. Today, you may or may not be aware that on July, or excuse me, January 15th, I think it was, the state of Virginia voted to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. And that would make the state of Virginia the 38th state to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment, which in theory would mean that it passed. And we now have the is it 29th, 28th, 29th. Anyway, so we would now have a new uh, amendment to our Bill of Rights. However, there are a number of issues with this, and those are the things we're going to want to talk about. First, the Equal Rights Amendment, when it was first proposed in 1921, 99 years ago, had a seven-year provision requiring it to be ratified within seven years. It was not. It was represented in, uh, I think it was 1971. And at the time, there was no need to have the president sign the bill off sending it out to the states for ratification. However, Congress sent it to the president and had him sign it. So there was a court case and the court decided that extended the, the due period to 1981 from 1978. <coughs> However, not every state ratified that within that time period. We clearly didn't get it since we just got it now. And during the time period for ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment, one state voted in favor of ratification, but only if it was ratified within that time period. That's point number one, and there, there may well be a court case on whether or not that kind of conditional ratification is valid for ratification of the amendment. Now, and I got to tell you, I have no idea how that's going to come down. Um, I would say that the legislature in that state made that decision, and those are the terms of their ratification of the amendment, and the term did not meet, therefore their ratification was rescinded. Now, there are also a couple of states that rescinded their ratification. Uh, I think there were three that voted in favor of ratifying the Equal Rights Amendment. And then three states went back and said, you know what? We changed our mind. Equal rights really aren't our thing. So, you know, screw it, man. You know, we, we want to continue to be biased on the basis of sex. Now, part of the reason this didn't pass is... You know, as you may recall, during the early 70s, we had a, uh, a small military action going on called Vietnam. There were a lot of men drafted for Vietnam. The Equal Rights Amendment would have removed the restrictions barring women from being drafted because it called for actual equality. So there was opposition on that ground. So there was also opposition in the 80s, um, you know, for the same thing. And this might lead to a situation where a court would consider fathers to be equal parents to mothers. And, you know, God forbid that we actually treat people equally. But those were the arguments against it, was that it wouldn't help women because the court might consider that fathers could be parents. However, where we are at right now is going to be going into a number of potential court cases. You've got the case over um, the conditional ratification. You've got the case over the delayed ratification that took so long for the states to ratify. Um, another interesting point, though, is that I think it was the 27th Amendment 
took 202 years to ratify it. But the original bill that was passed to send it to the states to ratify, and that was the, uh, I think it was the Hancock, no, right? Hamilton, Hamilton Amendment. That amendment restricted the ability of Congress to change their salaries during their term. Okay? It took 202 years to pass that. Think about that. But the original bill didn't have a sunset date. In the case of the Equal Rights Amendment, both times it's been proposed, it had a sunset. Seven years. We're done. If it doesn't pass in seven years, then the amendment is withdrawn. So there's going to be a court case over whether or not that seven-year sunset actually applies. Then there's going to be a case over the states that rescinded their ratification. Can they rescind their ratification? Once they ratify it, are they done? Can they go back if it hasn't been passed or approved by three-fourths of the country and say, you know what? We've given it some thought, and we've decided that equal rights really aren't our thing. We we don't want equal rights. I mean, besides the fact that they did it, besides the fact that it was repulsive, and I'm going to tell you, I've been dodging the fact that I just don't freaking remember which states. Um, sorry, I'm driving. I can't refer to notes. Um, so I don't remember which states did that. Otherwise, I would name them. And I'm not, I don't recall which state it was that had a conditional passing, you know. So if this is ratified within seven years, we're cool with equal rights. If not, you know, we're really not. So why? When you look back historically, you have to wonder why that was a problem. I don't know. Now here's the, another interesting point is, why does equal rights amendment matter now? I mean... The Equal Rights Amendment was to stop people from denying women access and guarantee their equal rights. However, we've already done that. Um, you know, you may have heard of a, a lawyer who went on to become a Supreme Court justice named, named Ginsburg that argued a, a phenomenal case on the basis of sex. And it, the 14th Amendment prohibits you from discriminating on the basis of sex. And that's that's what they already argued is that that's already been done. So do we even need an Equal Rights Amendment when equality on the basis of sex has already been covered under the 14th Amendment? that we need it. I can't say that I would be against it. I mean, who the hell is against equality? I mean, really. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm against the Equal Rights Amendment because I want to treat you like a second-class citizen. Nobody's going to say that. God, I hope nobody believes that. So, the Equal Rights Amendment is going to be tied up in court for the next few years, and the Supreme Court's going to have to decide whether... The sunset provision applies and therefore the Equal Rights Amendment was no longer available to be ratified by the state of Virginia. Whether the state that had withdrawn its, rather the states withdrew their ratifications, if they can in fact withdraw it once they ratify it, um, if those apply then it didn't, then the Equal Rights Amendment hasn't made three quarters of the states um, or if the state that had a conditional ratification if that conditional ratification applied and therefore their ratification doesn't apply and if that's the case again it would not have met the three quarters of the state's muster so there are three distinct issues that are probably going to be litigated and are probably going to have to be decided by the United States Supreme Court on whether or not the Equal Rights Amendment has been ratified. 
I don't think they're going to get into the mootness of the Equal Rights Amendment, given the history of court decisions on the 14th Amendment. But, uh, you know, maybe they will. So, that is what we're talking about today. Equal rights. Go ahead, drop a comment. You know, let's discuss that. Do we need to have another amendment guaranteeing equality between men and women? Um, and if so, will that help me win an argument with my wife? Or at least break even? Because, you know, far too few of them. That's all you think. Hit like, subscribe. Come on back. Tomorrow we're going to have uh, a video. We're going to be talking about the Missouri State Supreme Court and decision that was reached in State v. Smith that makes it actually a crime in contradiction to Missouri State statute if you happen to touch the fog line like I just did. So, or cross the fog line. It'll be a good video to watch. I encourage you to come back tomorrow and see it. Thank you. We'll be talking to you later.